What are your thoughts about the TikTok ban? I don't know. It's kind of a mixed feeling thing um, because, you know, if it's not TikTok, it's not Instagram, there will be another platform eventually. But, you know, TikTok's done some great stuff for artists, but then at the same time, it's also like, you know, it'd be nice to not focus only on making just content, 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 and kind of focus on your actual artistry rather than, you know. Yeah, because you can clip. get you can get super tired trying to create content like 10 or 15 videos throughout the week. Posting three times a day mm -hmm. and responding to your comments. like. And then between this hour and this hour, and then, you know, before you know it, it's like, am I, do I even have time to write songs anymore? Do yeah. I have time to be in the studio recording? You know, I, I feel like there's there's a lot that's missing. But um, like she said, another platform is going to come. So, yeah, it's just a matter of time. It's always something. As artists, what do you feel about AI? Is there any danger for singers? Me personally, I was like, I want, I like to write my own stuff. Or, yeah, me too. you know, if I hear mm -hmm. a great song that I'm like, oh, I wish I wrote it. Like, it's because I admire the art, you know, the songwriter. I mean, the craft of songwriting is the craft of songwriting. So... I don't think you can necessarily replace it, you know? But it, so it's like saying like, if you're gonna go home instead of you making your own enchiladas, you have a robot making enchiladas for you. They're not it's gonna, not taste, gonna the taste the same. same. So <laughs> it's always gonna be different, you know what I mean? And I think like, when it comes to, a, when it comes to AI stuff um, in the tech world and stuff, that's super dope, right? Like AI creates this, AI creates that, writes code for you, like all that stuff, that's dope, that's awesome, that's great. But when it comes to actual true art and what art is and what it represents of hu in human nature, there's you'll, yeah, and you'll see right through it too. Mm -hmm. Anybody trying to mimic that, yeah. I mean, going back to the Twitter ban or the TikTok ban, I think a lot of people say like that that stuff has an issue too because of you know when it comes to like paying out royalties and music and there's a lot of other things that TikTok is isn't really doing and UMG pulls their music out, out of there, all that stuff clips the wings of the little artists that are actually starting to make noise. Um, in that capacity. But what I think people forget about, and you know what's funny is we're going to probably watch this this interview like 30 years from now. People are going to be like, you're crazy. Um, <laughs> but, <Truly>. um, <laughs> yeah, right. But it, it it does that. But there's always that fear to be a 15 second fame artist on yeah. TikTok and not being an artist that carries a legend, uh, like, you know, a legacy. Um, and that was one of my biggest fears is I don't want to continue to post videos of me singing mariachi music on TikTok and not be all I'm known for and not no date to anybody else because obviously I have friends that do that and I've done it myself and everything. Um, but a lot of them, are, because they get that fame and that, that happiness there, that they just can't seem to let that go and become a, an artist in their own capacity over here to create a legacy. And that I, I feel like TikTok is going to clip the wings of people like that and it's going to be devastating for artists. I um, agree. And I mean you know, all the greats that we admire didn't have this going on. I mean, I even compare this to my releases when I, I mean, we have to realize TikTok's really been a thing like four years at the most, you know? So before we promoted releases, that wasn't really a thing. So this is, you know, it'll just be like normal, just minus TikTok. I love that. The legends we grew up with didn't have TikTok. No, they had none. That's awesome. Yeah. That is, that is. Can you imagine if back in the day, Selena, Laura Canales, Jimmy Gonzalez, y Grupo Mas, like if they had all this stuff, like David Garza, these musicales, uh, Ramon Ayala, Pedro Infante, Vicente Fernandez, if I had this, like TikTok stuff, you know what I mean? No, like you create a legacy built on the path that God's built, that God builds for you. And I feel like whenever you take that and you run with it, like you have it. But when you take what's given to you in the moment of like instant gratification, it's yes. instant. And it ends just as quick as it started. Yeah. I don't want to be an artist like that. Yeah. I've always felt like the faster you shoot up, the faster it could go away. Yeah. I'm pretty sure people are going to watch the interview and be like, man, he meant just crazy. You know what I mean? Let's let's hashtag that. <laughs> right. Hashtag what is he meant just talking about? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so did either of you have like any other jobs, part-time jobs besides singing, or you were always in the industry, always working hard. You never worked at like McDonald's or fast food restaurants. I've always had a day gig um, here in Nashville. You know, I've been fortunate to be able to support myself in other ways too. Um, I worked, I worked in aesthetics. So like wellness, Botox, it's, it's a very interesting industry to be into, but um, yeah. And I've, 
you know, I've learned stuff just by growing startups into growing my startup business, which is my music career. So it's like, I'm always learning little things too. And I've always worked in music. So music is in and everything I do. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about touring. Are there any tours for either of you coming up? Last year, I also put out an album too. So between all of that, I'm just kind of focusing right now on shows closer to town. Um, I am booking things out later in the year. So stay tuned for that. But really just focusing on putting in a lot more new music. And there will be some really fun bilingual tunes coming soon too. Yeah. As far as me, I'm not touring right now. I'm trying to focus more on writing, getting my album and stuff together, getting singles, working on production. Um, and this is my first time focusing on music as Jimencio since 2019. Um, so this is my way of kind of coming back and doing my thing. So I am just trying to build. Right yeah. Now. Sometimes we just need to be home. <laughs> Tell everyone where they can uh, go to find out more information about Andrea Vasquez and Jimencio. I'm most active on my Instagram, but that also links to my TikTok, Facebook, all the other things. And from there, it's so it's at Drea Vasquez. And you can also find me on Spotify, Andrea Vasquez, Apple Music, however you like to stream your music. And for you. <laughs> you can find me at, at, at Jimencio on everything. So J-I-M-E-N-C-I-O on every platform. So TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music, Amazon, everywhere. Instagram is just a one-stop shop mm -hmm. these days. Te di todo mi amor y más Y tú No reconoces ni lo que es amar Yo Me puse dispuesta a tus pies Y tan solo con desprecio me has pagado, pero ahora 